Shopping, archival copies, backups, your software, your music. Is it a right? Well, under copyright law, some people would say it's fair use under the American Home Recording Act, but the truth is the DMCA states it's illegal to circumvent copy protection to make copies. And just about every DVD movie out there that you want to watch is copy protected. Forget that. This will let you copy it. And that's what's an interesting thing. DVD X copy. We've had a bunch of people ask about this. 321 Studios, the company that makes it. They advertise a lot. They advertise a lot. They started out with one that actually backs up, archives your DVDs onto CDR medium. Uh, this one actually does DVD to DVD. Here's the thing, though. Because most DVDs are dual layers, right? They take over nine gigabytes of data on a single DVD. You end up burning two DVDs to do one movie. But the whole movie's on there. Well, the whole it, movie. It, it, it's split in half. Part one and the part two. Right. Okay. So that's the interesting and thing. Th but it, 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 the copy protection does not stop it. Copy protection does not stop it. It's not going to change region codes or anything like it's that. It's a bit for bit copy of it. Pretty much. Well, let me show you that it works. The okay. biggest thing about this is what a lot of people have asked is, you know what? Most of the people we know who make archival copies of their DVDs, uh, their DVD collection, they do it use basically free software they download off the web. You know, I want to do this. My kids ruin at least half of our DVDs. They, I, they play Frisbee with them and stuff. Have at least I one find them on the that, floor. In my family, yeah. has gone through four copies of a particular Disney movie. I would like to be able to make copies of these movies. I okay, that seems reasonable. Not to sell, not to give away. For my two one studios use. thinks it's reasonable too. They've started a lawsuit to try to protect or create fair use exemption. But we DMCA. should point out this may well be illegal. Yeah. So we got the software here. Left side, you know, it's got an explainer. It's got a tutorial that walks you through. Here's the thing. It would be nice. Look over here in the lower right hand corner. Copy now. It's a big copy now button. We think they should put this a big green button. Because yeah. if all you want to do is burn a copy of the disc, all you got to do is insert the DV. And it will do it? And hit that. Well, what it does is it creates an image and then it burns the image. You can also turn around and say, hey, you know what? I really don't need, I don't think I need this stuff in there. So let's take a look at it over here. Well, you could here. take actually content out of it. Exactly, which is something you may want to do because you're going to be burning across multiple DVDs. So that, whoops, decided not to preview it. It's doing it. It's working on it. It's thinking. It's thinking. And of course, it's I just think it stops. It'll stop. But it'll show you if there's additional features in there. Maybe you don't want to burn those over. You can sort of streamline it. Okay. So let's hit stop on that one. That's actually a, a useful feature. Although if for yeah. most people, really, all you're going to want to do is make a, make a Xerox, basically, with yeah. a DVD. And that's so what this is designed to do. It is, yes, it is a bit for bit copy. Yes, it does work. It's going to turn any you know, dual layer disc. It's going to take two of your DVD-Rs to do it, which is a little frustrating. And the resulting DVD-R will, quality-wise, be identical to the original? It's, you know, the ones we've seen look excellent. And that's the problem. That's what the MPAA, yeah. the Motion Picture Association of America, doesn't like. Yeah. Because and you could, in theory, pirate these movies. 321 Studios is trying to fight this. Certainly lots of other people out there are trying to fight this. DVD-X copy, it does what it claims to do. It makes it pretty simple. It's not perfect. The interface is a lot. We didn't show you a lot of the features. We've got a good uh, uh, web review put together up on the website. And we just for crashed you. it, it looks like, by Josh pressing Lawrence. stop in the middle of it. So. Well, it was also trying to open it. You know, if you're not willing to go through the time to find the tools and geek out and learn them, which can be really frustrating, this is, this is an answer. It's $100. It's not cheap. But and you do need, obviously, a DVD recorder. Yes, which is another $300. Okay. But it works. And if you it see works. the ads, now we know. It worked. We wanted to know ourselves. Yeah. 3D1 Studios, DVD-X copy. Get the details about our experience with it. Josh's excellent review and all the information we have, including at least the legal agenda involved at thescreensavers.com. Mm -hmm.